but Kawhi, he Ooh. has arrived. It's about seems. time. He was rounding into form last night. Ramona, we were at this game, and it was really, yeah, the first quarter where things were starting to get off the rails for the Clippers, but every time the Mavericks would make a push in this game, it seemed like the Clippers had an answer. Yeah, and that has not been the case for the Clippers. They tend to be a team that falls behind and has to come back in the third quarter. But in this game, they let in, and it's, it's a team coming up a six-game losing streak. They right. wanted this one. You, you saw Steve Ballmer sitting there loving it. I caught up with him after the game. He was excited about this win, but now it's about being able to stack one on top of the other. But you can't have a two-game winning streak without a one-game winning streak first. No, absolutely, and they came out with it on their mind, led by Kawhi Leonard, but the defense was there. Yeah. We knew Ty Lue was going to have his team prepared because he don't like losing, period. So he had to prepare. Guys were into Luka Airspace, doing what they needed to do, took away the others, yeah. and we saw what happened. But it was really interesting because even at this point, when it seemed like the Clippers had yeah. a, a fairly <laughs> commanding lead, the crowd was sort of saying, Okay, Ooh. is this going to be the moment? Is this going to yep. be the moment? No, Kawhi hung on. He had perhaps the best game of his season. He went for a season high, 33 points, 75% shooting. That went along with nine boards. They were doubling him all night, steals. too. Absolutely. He's heating up. He scored at least 24 points in four of his last five games. Hey, Jalen, what did you see from Kawhi last As night? we take shape and figure who's going to win the Western Conference, you mm -hmm. got young upstarts like Jokic in Denver. You have Ja. In Memphis, you have the Pelicans with B.I. and Zion. But then you have some crafty veterans like Kawhi Leonard. Look at that steal, getting out in transition. And this is why you know he's getting back to form. Little patience, a little give-and-go action, gets it back. Regardless of spacing, I'm taking this shot. I'm being aggressive. And again, the Clippers at this point of Kawhi's career, he's not going to be an 82-game guy, clearly. You hope to get Paul George back healthy. But they're going to be a team that's going to be a problem in any seven-game series. Look at this double team that Momo was talking about. Guess what happens when you're a champion in finals MVP? <clears throat> you shooting that thing anyway. <laughs> and so for Kawhi Leonard, that's a welcome sign, mm. not only for the Clippers, but for the rest of us fans of the league, right. that they might have a legitimate chance to make noise in the playoffs. The talent is clearly there. Yeah. It's just a matter of, okay, can they get this thing rolling and all together at the same time? Ramona, you were in the building. Yep. What stood out to you? Well, look, Ty Lue is doing some things. Mm -hmm. He's experimenting with a lot of different combinations. And he went with this all-wing lineup. That he's been, he's been, they play, have a lot of great wings on this team. Yeah. And they just kind of punted on the traditional point guard altogether. Okay, Terrence Mann's in the starting lineup now. Remember when he was a fun uh, story as a second-round draft pick, making good? He's the starter now because he gives him that Swiss Army knife kind of quality. And now you have, look at, look at this wing. Like, they yeah. barely even played Moses Brown and Vita Zubac. They played a little bit, but he just decided, we got great wings. That's the strength of our team. Yeah. We're going to switch everything defensively. Sometimes they blitz Luka, but for the most part, they're going to switch everything. Right. And when you have this as your strength, he just went all the way in. He just right. leaned all the way into I it. Mean, I mean, I was as you were speaking, I was looking at the numbers when Morris <laughs> Sr., Kawhi Leonard, Covington, Powell, yep. and Mann all played. I mean, it was a plus 12 on the floor. Well, it, it's you have that kind of wing group. Now, again, when you look at their defenders, and especially when you're talking about Kawhi and when you're talking about Paul George, you have two of the best wing defenders in the league, yep. Defensive Player of the Year and Kawhi Leonard. So I understand why they, like, and still Luka gave him 43 with some of the best defensive guys out there. So, my thing about the Clippers is that we know if Kawhi is healthy, if Paul George is healthy, they'll be right there. If they're not healthy, they will not be right there. So we can break them down, ask T. Lou what he's going to do, how yeah. much time do they need to gel. At the end of the day, when we get to April, if they're healthy and they're within striking distance, they're going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. If they're not, if they're trying to get to the play-in, if they're kind yeah. of one person in, they don't have any continuity, then it won't. If they are one of the most simple formulas in the NBA today right now. Yeah, I'm with you, and I think right now we're going to see that pissed-off version of Ty Lue, and not towards the world, yeah. but towards his team. Mm -hmm. Like, he's been giving them so much freedom and allowing yep. them to do things outside of basketball, mm -hmm. not on the court, outside of basketball. Now he's going to pull that rope back. Now I think it's time for him to make it a competition inside the locker room. Like, when you're that stack and you have that much depth, at the wing position in particular, now you make guys compete for minutes. My, now you hold guys accountable because you don't have to accept outside of Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, you don't ha have to accept bad basketball from everybody else. And that includes Reggie Jackson, 
along with John Wall. Roll with a young yeah, Terrence Mann much. who's going to get up in you, who's going to defend, who's going to play with a lot of high energy, who helped you win playoff games last year when Kawhi Leonard was You talk about out. this consistency. Kawhi Leonard's been in and out of the lineup. This last one, he was, he was sick, and, he came, and he's been frustrated with minutes restrictions all year long. But this game, when he shows up in a game like this and reminds you what how good he can be, it, Ty Lue talked to me after the game last night. He said, you know, Kawhi is able to do this because he gets up for these kind of games. Mm-hmm. Remember a couple years ago, this series against the Mavericks, yeah. this was a this was like a classic back and forth and no one could win a home no one could mm-hmm. win a home game in that mm-hmm. series until the very end when the Clippers finally won that but he and Luca they they have a little rivalry as going. they should and this is why when Kawhi came and played like that you go where is that every night and 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 when he's able to do that as you said when he gets doubled and, and picks the uh, part of the defense that way that's why they're able to play the all wing lineup because Kawhi can just read the defense and basically play point guard for them. Well, I, I think there's one thing that has probably gone unnoticed. Mm. I bet you, and again, I won't, I, I'm not, yeah. I, this is pure speculation. I think there's some up top stuff, there's some coaching stuff, and then there's some team stuff. Mm. When you're talking about Kawhi is not happy, that ain't coming from T. Lou, like minute restrictions is. That's coming from above, mm. and there's some people above that might want to like poke their nose in some some business that they shouldn't right in my I, my opinion you should let the coaches coach you should let the players play and then the front office go be the front office but i'm hearing grumblings that people up top are having opinions about who should be playing who should be doing this and the people up top have never coached an nba championship team so respectfully that's the things that i'm hearing in the clipper land is that there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen mm. and that is never a good recipe Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.